Hello, welcome back to Vampires Week on Pure MTGO. I am playing Vampires in Modern once again, and uh, this time our opponent is Black White Tokens. So uh, we won the roll, and uh, let's get on the way. So this is a not too exciting opener. We've got Thoughtseize, Viscerasia, and Bloodline Keeper. Uh, I decided to keep this. We've got a few things to do in the early going. Hopefully we'll draw into something nice, and the uh, plan keeper is pretty sweet if uh, we manage to stick him. I'll just lead off the plane. Attack for one, and play this blood, blood gas that I just drew, which definitely was a nice draw. We'll play the tide hollow scholar, and it's going to end up stealing our bloodline keeper. Somewhat annoyingly, but uh, we actually draw another one off the top, which is nice. These. That. Unfortunately, uh, it has Lingering Souls, Pack Rat, Isolated Chapel, Swamp, Tectonic Edge, and a Blade Splicer. Um, I kind of want to get rid of the Blade Splicer as it's going to make Blood Guests attacks look very good. Pack Rat's also a little bit scary, and uh, Lingering Souls is definitely annoying, but with Flashback, um, throwing Lingering Souls into the graveyard is not achieving a great deal, so um, Blade Splicer's what I chose, probably some arguments for uh, picking one of the other cards, but uh, I like picking the blade splicer there. Makes my uh, podcast a lot better. Also, this bloodline keeper might be able to deal with lingering souls tokens quite well, just as a big flying threat. Tap with blood gas. That's going to chunk with the spirit. I'm going to return a blood glass. I actually, uh, I think I'm. Missed getting an extra scry trigger off my blood guest uh, last turn, so I was going to play a land, and uh, I'd already tapped the blood guest, so uh, I should have just sacked it and then played my land to get back the blood guest. That way, I would have got an extra scry trigger out. But uh, yeah, just a thing to look out for when you're playing this deck. Um, so we're going to be able to run out of bloodline keeper here, which is really nice. Hope we're just uh, praying that our opponent doesn't have any uh, removal. So he flashbacks to Lingering Souls and then runs out his pack rat. So it looks like he didn't have the removal, which is sweet. Uh, we've got Viscera Seer here. So we're going to be able to get the five vampires this turn, which means we can flip the Bloodline Keeper, which is also sweet. Um, I attack with my Seer and my Blood Guess. Put blocks with Tidal of Scholar and the Spirit. Um, doesn't seem like a great idea. Maybe you didn't see the uh, flip coming. Which is basically why I attacked before, uh, before do uh, flipping my bloodline keeper. But uh, so make a token can transform our bloodline keeper because we now control five vampires, and uh, everything's going to get plus two plus two. So I'm going to kill off the scholar and uh, one of his spirit tokens, and kill off the scholar is going to get me back my second bloodline keeper, which is. A vial. Attack with everyone but my Lord of Lineage here. Just want to make some more tokens. Not that we particularly need to, but uh. Also run out of the Bloodline Keeper. Could have done that first and flipped it as well to get super big pumps on all my guys. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, if I was playing more conservatively, I probably would have just left the Bloodline Keeper in hand and uh just in case he had a wrath or something along those lines. But we're in pretty awesome shape here. And uh, yeah, that wraps things up. So yeah, nice to see Bloodline Keeper taking a game and uh, definitely was very impressive there. And uh, pretty much won us the game, so worked out pretty nicely. Let's go on to game two. I think we have some mulligan decisions. Oh wait, no we don't. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good keep actually. Uh, Blood Artist seems nice, definitely against token decks. Um, got Captivating Vampire, which was so good in the last game, and a Gatekeeper of Malakir, so pretty nice collection of cards. And the Thoughts is just taking the Gatekeeper, just lead off with our Swamp. And Inquisition is taking the Blood Artist, which is rather annoying. And then Inquisition is taking Captivating Vampire. My other land. 
and thought you just take away the bloodline keeper. So all we have is drowning sorrow now. Uh, I Inquisition. I see a path, a wrath of God, a tide hole, a skull, and a pack rat. He has no white sources, um, so I'm just going to take the pack rat. Um, obviously, if he gets the white source, then Scholar is going to be quite annoying. But I think keeping a card that he can cast and one that can uh, actually get him some utility out of cards he can't cast in his hand uh, out of his hand is a good idea. So uh, I like picking the pack rat there. He, so he's struggling on lands. I'm forced into top deck mode after he's obliterated my hand. Definitely a nice one to pick up. And having the vile tick ups somewhat decent. Uh, drawing land, which is very annoying. Uh, it happens far too many times that we just get so many lands um, that just aren't very good for us. Um, it's only a 20 land deck, but I to get drowned in lands, which is kind of why I want some more card draw in the deck. Um, it's just really frustrating to just be drawing lands and lands and lands. Don't find his white source. Titola Skuller takes the uh, Drowning Sorrow, which isn't too devastating. Find a Highborn, which is nice. Uh, I'll just attack him with Highborn and get some value if he ever tries to kill our creatures. Attack him with the Cluster. Um, into a high bone with his scholar. I decided to uh, take the trade. I don't know whether that was a good decision or not. Perhaps not, but I just I quite like the trade there, and uh, I think Drowning Sorrow is going to be pretty good if he uh, starts running out loads of tokens on us. Um, I think I misclick here, so I don't actually get the drain to, but I certainly attended to, so he should be on eight. I draw Nocturnus which actually doesn't reveal land off the top um, which is nice for once um, gives us our uh, bloodlust plus two plus one and flying which makes it a 4 flyer which is nice, we know he has path in hand so he could path either one of these guys passing the vampire nocturnus seems fairly good for us seems as though um, blood gas is also, uh, obviously considerably less good if it can't be recurred from the graveyard but uh, so uh, I'm liking our position here. I'm going to just end up taking four down to six. Uh, would have just been on just four if uh, we hadn't missed those two points earlier. But it runs out of resto, which is fine. I'm just going to attack into that. He's going to pass the vampire, but now I'm going to be able to drown in sorrow to kill off his resto. And uh, see a captain baiting vampire on top after uh, shuffling from the path. Um, Then Vampire Nighthawk, which is nice, uh, it's going to allow us to fly over here. I'm going to drop in my cap to do an extra point of damage here. Point of attacks, and uh, looks like he's going to wrath here, which is fine. Going to Inquisition, finding a Blade Splicer and a Lingering Souls in my opponent's hand. Uh, I'm just going to take the Blade Splicer. Lingering souls. Well, uh, I guess I'm being able to make two less souls is good, but um, again, 3-3 three, three first striker makes blood gas look pretty bad. Um, so I think getting rid of those spice is good here. Going to get to get the blood gas back and attack. I'm going to have to activate his multi uh, vault and chump. Well trade I suppose, but I am going to get my blood gas back. Uh, not much going on our hand, drawing lands again. But we get to uh, bring back our blood gas every turn. If there's a pain seer, which could kill him, <laughs> him it could kill himself with that. So uh, I don't think we're going to be able, um, going to let him do that. Thanks to drawing our vampire nighthawk. So he attacks him with the pain seer, but I'm just going to drop my nighthawk in and block could have killed himself, but don't think that's the best way to go about things. Give up my blood gas, actually running out of land here, despite drawing quite a lot. So we get a chump and a block and a trade. I'll mix into the pack rat. Next four here. 
and then lingering souls making uh, spirit tokens, which definitely isn't too great for us. Um, you can kill a fire night hawk. Watch me draw another one, so uh, that works out fairly well for us. Um, gonna go to kill off two of his spirits. Provided that hasn't drawn removal, this second night hawk should do pretty well. Draw into a blood artist, which is gonna finish off the game. Um, He's going to have to jump, which he's going to be punished for. Going down to one, and then uh, in response to him discarding his last card, I am going to victim of night another one of his creatures uh, to get the trigger off Blood Iced. And uh, that'll end it up. So, uh, quick game. Um, tokens definitely seems like a good one for us. Um, Blood Iced, obviously, very nice against tokens as well as. Uh, and the uh, cluster of high bond works well with uh, trading, etc. So uh, yeah, uh, works out pretty nicely. Tyrannosaurus is not too bad out the sideboard for once, and uh, yeah, just generally it seems like a pretty good matchup for our deck, um, and works out pretty well here.